Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. We bought a uh, Graco Affix toddler booster seat, a uh, car seat uh, for our grandkids. And uh, it's got good reviews. Um, we like the way it attaches to the car. Um, it looks to be very safe. So I thought I'd just do a quick video, kind of giving it a, a bit of a introduction and uh, go through the installation. So thanks for watching, let's get started. One of the things that we really like about this booster seat is it's got a back. Um, it's got a real easy latch system so it actually does tie into the latch uh, connectors on in the bottom of the seat. It's made with the, with the back and the seat put together for a child four to 10 years old, 40 to 100 pounds. And then a bigger kid where you don't need the back, you just need the booster seat so that the seat belt fits properly on them. Uh, same age range, same weight range, but just depends on like the size of the child. One of the things I will note right off the bat is be careful when you, if you cut the tape on the top of the box, as you open it up, there's not anything in between the, the flap and the seat. So be real careful. There's a little bit of room there but just be real careful. Don't stick your blade in there real far because you'll cut the top of that seat. I'm just gonna slide out of the box. Get rid of that. There's the base, there are the arms, and there's the, the back. That's just packing. Got a couple pieces for all this. Warranty registration card, make sure you do that. Got the destructions. Keep that away from little kids and pets. First thing you wanna do is put the arms in. They're marked left and right. This would be right, the other right. Just make sure that you get this pad out of the way and it snaps in and doesn't pull back out because that pad will get caught in the flange. And for the drink holder, it's underneath the base right here. So you just pop it out, it just snaps in there. And then it goes right here. It's got a little catch on the bottom and it's got a there's a tab here on the side, and there's a slot right here for that to go into. Put your finger under it first. Line up that tab. And snap that in there, so then that's done. So that's the base. This is the, the middle of the back, and this is the headrest. So, I'm not sure why that, why that zip tie is on there, but the instructions are kind of funny. They say, remove the zip tie and immediately discard of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Line up these slots and this uh, part of the track here goes underneath these tabs and then underneath these to keep all that lined up. So once you get it to this point, you gotta press the release up here. Just press that in and snap all that together. And then there's, a, there's an elastic strap that's on the top of this. Just bring it over here and hook it. Hook it to this metal hook right here. Then, turn this over. You gotta get this tab tucked. So you just wanna tuck it underneath there like so. Just like that. All right, now to get the, uh, to get the back attached to the base. I'm gonna take the base. It's got two areas here where, like look at the back of it, you gotta, you got a place for Upward hook, downward hook. On the bottom of the the back, you have two two hooks same way, one in the middle going the other way. 
get your base, the bottom, and uh, prop it up, you know, like so. Take the, take the back, and you're coming in from the, the underside of the base. You gotta line these up so that the end of each hook just goes up against the flat part and then push it together like that and it's going to be sloppy there but then you turn the thing up and it'll latch into place and so this thing can be reclined you want to make sure that the that the car seat is never reclined more than this thing's able to recline that kind of stuff but typically you're going to run it you know about like so anyway that's the um, assembly of the seat I'm going to show you how to attach it to the uh, to the car. Make sure that you read your instructions though real well because this thing is only designed to be used with a shoulder and lap belt. You got to have a shoulder belt and you got to have a lap belt. You can't just use it with a lap belt. It doesn't keep the child safe. And you got to make sure that the seat belts cross the child properly. So just make sure you read all that in the manual to be sure that your child is safe. So before you go to attach it, these are the two latch hooks on the bottom they just come out like this the real nice thing about this seat is that you got a button right in here and that's the tightener for the latch hook so you can just pull that pull that button up and when you do you can uh, just pull the latch hook out on both sides and now you got a lot of slack to connect it with. To install it, I can't show you both sides because I'll get in the way of the camera, but you're gonna have your, your latch hook and then down here in the split part of your seat between the, the seat and the back, you've got your latch attachment points. So you just go in here, attach that, and then visually look down in there. You can see it. So visually look down in there, make sure that that hook is latched on that uh, that bar, it's a, it, there's two brackets and a bar between them that you use on this latch system. There'll be one on each side. So then you attach the other side and then you pull this, these straps to tighten it up. It's not going to be quite like a car seat where it can't move at all because it's only attached with the latch system. It doesn't have an upper attachment. But anyway, tight, you, you're going to tighten this up and get the other side attached tighten that up real good so it doesn't move around you want to pull your i'm gonna i'm gonna do it this way so you can see what i'm talking about but obviously the seat would normally be attached right so you, you got your shoulder and lap belt you want to make sure when you when the child is sitting in the seat that their head is in here and that when you put the shoulder belt through this holder these red holders that it comes across the child's shoulder. You don't want it across her neck. If the if the belt is too low, then you, you just take the headrest and raise it and put it in the right height. If all the way down the belt is too high, then the child's probably not big enough for the seat. Now to use it as a booster seat, you open this all the way up like that, slide this off. So once you get that, that back off and out of the way, then you take your you take your base and you've got this shoulder strap um, positioning strap. It's got a loop in the bottom. So then you take it, you just pass this loop through here. Pass the red end through the loop. And then just pull that tight. Then you can adjust this on the buckle so that when the child's sitting in the booster seat and the shoulder strap comes through it, it hits them properly on their shoulder, not across their neck or too low or anything like that. And you, you can just leave that clip to your shoulder strap so it'll always put it in the right position. And then you install it the same way, you just use the latch hooks. So I'll show you the best I can. I um, already attached the inboard latch hook so then here's the other one and i'm going to attach it just like that and then i take these two straps pull them tight and then that gets the 
that gets the seat secure. It can't go anywhere. Then I take this, put it on my shoulder belt, like so, like that. Now when the child sits down, this should be behind the child and with the seat belt over their lap and fastened, the shoulder strap should come across their shoulder in the uh, right, you know, like right across their collarbone. So if it doesn't, then you just adjust the height of this, this here by loosening that up or tightening it or whatever you got to do. Uh, a couple other quick things while I'm talking about child seats. I'm just going to leave links below for these things just because they might come in handy for you. One is this mat. We have a mat that we put in our vehicles that goes under the car seat. It usually uh, buckles around the headrest bars. It's got a couple of pockets in the front. It protects your seats. It keeps the food and the whatever that drops from the child seat off of your seat. It's a whole lot easier to clean that than it is your seat. So that's kind of a cool, cool little bit. This little gadget, it's got a spring-loaded device or spring-loaded uh, holder bracket here that goes between the headrest post on the seat in front of the kid. And then it's adjustable. Um, got a pivot arm on it and it's got clips here and this is spring-loaded. So you can put their tablet or device in there so that they can uh, watch videos or whatever while you're driving. And a uh, little set of headphones, you plug them in and everybody's happy. So that's a nice little device too for those long trips. And then to take it out, uh, whether it's the full seat with the back or just the booster seat, you just press this button. Pull the whole thing out. Now you've got slack to get in there and uh, disconnect your latch hooks so that I don't lose this shoulder strap positioning device uh, between now and the time that we go to use it without the back. We're going to use it with the back now. And so if I stick this in a drawer somewhere, I'm probably going to lose it. So in order to keep from doing that, I'm going to take it. I just evened up the strap and I'm going to wrap it here. Just wrap it around itself like so. I'm going to flip this base up. And there's a convenient little pocket on the bottom of these armrests. Just make sure it goes all the way in there so it doesn't press onto your seat or anything. And then I will know where it is whenever I go to use it. So there you have it. It's going to be comfortable, be safe, easy to install and take in and out. I'll leave a link below for it and these other things that I mentioned in the video. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you would. Click the subscribe button below and uh, check out some of my other videos. I hope to see you back soon. Take care. God bless you.